it is the beginning of the morning as you can see and um, I am getting up I'm getting up from sleeping here last night this is where I've been sleeping and uh, one of the reasons I've been sleeping here is there's a hiding place let me show you if you look right here under this shipping container there's a hole and in this hole is where I keep my wallet I'm vulnerable to somebody coming by at night and going through my pockets and taking it anyways this is where I've been sleeping let me give you a better perspective on it. Okay. Well, the woods look kind of nice, right? <clears throat> Let me show you where I'm at. You know, those are the woods that are behind this parking lot. <laughs> that's behind this building and that industrial building over there and there's O'Reilly's over there I know you can't see O'Reilly's from here it's still early morning and you can see in the distance not right now I'll show you in a minute um, over there is another warehouse that they were chasing someone off from the industrial area because it's private property and that's what I thought was going on but the next evening all those people that were living back here were gone they probably arrested for trespassing I'm not sure whose property this is they assumed that it was city property. I do not know. Here you can see a lot more signs of homelessness. There's some pillows on the ground there. And it's kind of dark, but if you look back there, there's a tent kind of stuck back there and some other stuff so I'm gonna fold up my uh, sleeping bag this is the slant same sleeping bag that saved me um, when I first went homeless and was living in the park it's kind of hard doing this with one hand but See what we can do. Yeah. Tie this here. So it's called stripes. I think stripes is a uh, company here in Texas. I first uh, became acquainted with them um, in um, Corpus Christi, you know, and Stripes has like these big uh, breakfast tacos that you can buy for only about a dollar 40 or something like that 
which is a really good price. And so Stripes has been keeping me fed during this time because I can eat one or two of those and I have food for the day. It's not really that far, you know, we're, we're used to really fast videos. Here again, you can see, I'm going to turn this around. See, I was back, back over there. There you go. That's where I was. And this is where I'm going. Now, the other thing that Stripes has, like a lot of convenience stores, it has a bathroom. And you bet that I need one in the morning. You know, when you're homeless, finding a bathroom can be a problem. See, more industrial. We're walking by. Let me show you something here. See if you can read that. I don't know if that's readable or not. Private property posted. It's a warning against homeless people sleeping here. That they'll get prosecuted. The owners of the property, the owner, owners of businesses in Waco do not want you sleeping on their property. You know. Coming over here to Stripes, see it's a gas station and a convenience store. Okay. So I'm going to go through the back because that's what I like to do. And this is how. I start my day. Okay, so as you can see, um, I came over here to Stripes, and for around $5, I got these two big tacos, and I refilled that cup right there. Of course, that's a 64-ounce cup. Now, I don't think I've been eating like this every day, because I haven't. I have gotten news that somebody's sending me a little bit of support, so I'm kind of celebrating this morning. So there you go. Uh, so I can see that it's almost 8 o'clock, so I better go find a place where we can do the rosary. So I'm leaving Stripes, got something to eat here, and I'm going to go over to this warehouse over here so I can pray the rosary. Alright, so I'm getting ready, it's almost 8 o'clock. I've got my rosary, I have the phone, which I'm using as a camera, and I'll be doing uh, the rosary for Saturday morning um, in a few minutes, and um, uh, that's basically how my day is going, and that's kind of what I've been doing uh, in the mornings, um, and kind of see uh, how I'm living. Because it's time for me to pray the rosary, so I'm going to go online and do that, and then I'll be back with you, and I'll show you um, where I'm heading next on this day um, in the life of the hermit, homeless, homeless hermit. A day in the life of the homeless hermit. <laughs> okay, then, you know, so um, back there is uh, Stripes. 
And what, what, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be walking up the street. I've got about a little over a half a mile uh, to get to the library, and that will be my next step this morning. So here we're leaving this area. You can kind of see the woods a little bit better over there. You know, we're leaving this area, and we are heading, you know, towards the uh, main street here. Here you can see O'Reilly's. I'm going to be walking down this street and uh, one street over on Austin Street and about a little over a half a mile and I'll be at the library. There, across the street, is a uh, fried chicken place. And I've been stopping over here because they have these picnic benches. And I can sit down for a few minutes, not very long. I don't want to attract attention. When you're homeless and you attract attention, they call the cops on you, you know? So, they have these benches over here, you know, for their customers to eat. And, uh, and I know it's a private business, but I'll, I get real tired when I'm walking from the library over to this area to sleep. And, um... I come over here and, you know, take my pack off and I'll just sit, sit here for a few minutes as I am uh, from my walking. Now of course, it's longer to the library and what we're going to do as we pass through a neighborhood over there. I really don't like walking on a main street like this with all the traffic going by. So I'm going to walk um, walk over here into this neighborhood. And Waco's becoming kind of famous for its, its uh, old antique houses. And I'll show you a few of those. So there's the main street over here. What I'm doing is I'm walking over here to the next street. <laughs> and then you're going to see kind of something a little different. You know, when I lived in San Antonio, the zoning laws were different from here. And um, what I'm finding over here is houses and businesses mixed together. I'm not really sure how they zone in Waco. There's a coffee shop directly ahead. And they actually had a concert there the other night while I was walking by. And this is a little weird. But this business to my right, you can see, is a substance abuse clinic. Uh, there you go. And there's actually over there where you can get your title for your vehicle. So that's a Texas uh, Texas government building there. If you can imagine that. You know. And here you can see that we're in a neighborhood. You know? <laughs> so I don't know how they do zoning over here. That guy's a tailor. But now we, we're getting into houses over here. 
of all things. So, so you can see that nice brick house over there, and they have uh, redone the house beside it, and then we actually have some apartments, and there's some other apartments over here, you know. A lot of old historical homes are in Waco, and we have lots of pecan trees. I don't know if you can see that pecan tree there. Of course, Texas has lots of pecan trees, and people plant pecan trees because they like pecans. And so we have a historical home stuck in the middle there, and right beside it, we have some apartments. And then this also look like some more historical. Now, that's kind of what you get in Waco here. Homeless people walking through here? No, they don't like it. That human self-centeredness comes out. I can understand them being afraid sometimes. You know, I'm afraid sometimes too. Here we have some more homes. I bet they probably redistricted this area for commercial. But if they had a home here previously, they could keep it. See, that's a nice home right there. So here we have a nice southern home right there. And right across the street is the main library for the uh, city of Waco. I try to understand that Waco's population is only about, uh, I think, 70,000. So, you know, I'm used to really big libraries. This, this to me is about the size of a high school library. But nonetheless, I can come over here and they have the computers and they have the internet. They say they only give you an hour of time, but if you go and ask them, they keep increasing it by half hour as long as no one, you know, is in line to use the computer, you know. I spend a lot of time here. One of the reasons is, is it's air conditioned, you know. The other is, I can play tanky online. <laughs> and the last reason is, I'm running a, uh, I'm the head of a, a movement of the laity. The HHL, the Humble Holy Laity, and, uh, I can go online here and we can talk and we can work on things and set up programs. Anyways, I'm going to come here, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to start editing this video because you basically have it, what Thomas the Hermit has been doing since he ended in this area. So, here I am, um, I'm waiting for the library to open at 10 o'clock, it's around 9 o'clock, so I'm going to start editing this video on my phone, and I hope to get it out this morning, 
so that people can see um, a little bit of glimpse how I'm living homeless in Waco. And I'm under a overpass that goes over these railroad tracks. You see that right there? Now, what am I doing here? Well, this is where a ministry was born called Church Under the Bridge. Now, what does that have to do with me? Well, it didn't have too much to do with me, except for the fact that they have this little day park over here. The day park, I'm shooting it. The day park is a place where people can come during the day. And that's kind of a problem with homeless people. Because if they lay down anywhere, they're going to be told they have to move on. But that's not an issue here in this day park that was set up by the uh, church under the bridge. Now here, here they ha have some uh, plants growing. There's an okra. There's a little garden here. I'm not sure what the garden's for. It's not really very big enough to sustain but a few people. And there's some pepper plants. And it's not very big, but people come over here. Um, and a lot of times, you know, you can't find a place to shower. Well, in the day park here, they have this place right here. And you can come over here. And basically, it's a hose with the bathtub sitting there. And you can shower off. Now... You may not think that that's very much, but it's quite a bit when you haven't had a shower in, in several days. Anyways, this is the day park that people can visit in Waco if they are homeless and they want to go to a place that will not rouse them or cause problems. This is Thomas the Hermit. Say a prayer for me. I am praying for you, and I will talk to you later.